In this video, we'll look at adding and applying a DHCP for Wi-Fi service in the Ruckus One network management platform. The DHCP for Wi-Fi service allows Ruckus access points to act as a DHCP server, automatically allocating IP addresses to client devices when they join the network, and eliminating the need for end-user device setup. This is useful in high-density deployments like stadiums, universities, or mass transit stations where large numbers of clients continuously move in and out of the Wi-Fi coverage area, causing repeated IP address assignment requests. You can define a new DHCP for Wi-Fi service by navigating through Network Control, Service Catalog, and clicking the Add button in the DHCP for Wi-Fi tile. This approach allows you to have the service configured and ready for activation on any of your venues at a later time. Note that only one DHCP for Wi-Fi service can be applied to a venue at any given time. Alternatively, you can configure the service and activate it for within a specific venue. But be aware the venue cannot have mesh APs, and it cannot have the client isolation service active. Let's select a venue. Here we'll navigate through the Services tab to DHCP, then Wi-Fi. Since no DHCP for Wi-Fi service is currently active on this venue, click Manage Local Service. This opens a pop-up where we'll toggle the service state to enable the DHCP service. Now we have the option of selecting an existing DHCP service from the drop-down list or adding a new DHCP for Wi-Fi service. Note that this drop-down list will be empty if you've not defined any DHCP for Wi-Fi services yet. Let's go ahead and create a new service. Notice that we're taken to the Add DHCP for Wi-Fi service wizard that's located in the network control my services, DHCP for Wi-Fi portion of the Ruckus One UI. The wizard allows you to define the service and add DHCP pools of IP addresses to the service. Keep in mind that the service will be activated at the venue level, so your selection of DHCP configuration should be based on how the venue's APs are configured to work together. Each configuration type is explained on screen for your convenience, and graphics help you visualize how the DHCP functions in each configuration. Adding a DHCP pool is a simple matter of completing the fields in the sidebar. The Allow AP Wired Clients toggle controls whether devices cabled directly to the access point are allowed to connect using a DHCP pool IP address. And we have the subnet address and the subnet mask, which is usually set to 255.255.255.0. Then we have the start and end host address fields, which dictate the beginning and end of the IP address range that makes up this pool. Primary and secondary DNS IP, while not required, allow you to point to the DNS servers containing records that map internet domains to IP addresses. We'll leave these empty for now. IP addresses are leased and must be renewed periodically. Maximum lease time is 24 hours, which is the default setting, but you can modify this value to any number up to and including 24 hours or 1,440 minutes. VLAN ID defaults to 300, but you can change this as desired as well. You can even add up to four DHCP pools within one service instance. But keep in mind, when the DHCP service is activated for a venue, all the pools defined for the selected service become active at that venue. Clicking Add closes the DHCP pool sidebar. Clicking Finish closes the Add DHCP for Wi-Fi service wizard. And we're taken back to the pop-up in the Venues Services tab where we started. Toggle the service state to On and select the service. 
Note that if the selected service is of the hierarchical type, then you'll also be prompted to select the AP that will function as the primary server. Now just click Apply. A green status message will appear briefly, and the service is now enabled for this venue. To disable a DHCP for Wi-Fi service on a venue, simply click Manage Local Service, toggle off the service state, and click Apply. The service still exists in your Ruckus One account, but it's now disabled for this venue. Subsequent management of all your DHCP for Wi-Fi services may be performed by navigating through Network Control, My Services, and clicking the DHCP for Wi-Fi tile. Here you can edit or delete services as necessary. Deletion requires confirmation, so you can't delete a service by accident. And that brings us to the end of this video on adding and applying a DHCP for Wi-Fi service in the Ruckus One Network Management Platform.